back everybody to another episode of V-Time, episode 67. Last one was a nice live stream we tested out and worked pretty well. But today we're going back to normal and talking about all the stuff that happened this week. We mm -hmm. do know the product stream happened, so we already covered that on our live stream. If you want to check it out, the video is in the, uh, in our on our channel, on our you know video feed. Yes. See our thoughts on the live stream there, but in this V-Time we're going to be covering everything else in the week. From the stream and Night Rose to Friday's Lackluster and yada yada yada. Yeah. Bob, before that, if you're interested in picking up any cards from TCG Player, please use our fill link down below. Your purchases through this link help support the channel so we can bring more great videos straight to you guys. And with that scripted power out of the way, let's go straight into the leaks. Starting us off with a video from Carpa Vanguard themselves playtesting Pale Moon and Murkumo? It uh, looks like Zambaku, I think. Yes, it, lo it is on Baku. They were build uh, testing a play uh, a deck of Pale Moon with... Gunsaloo. Exactly, and it's support. And I know a lot of people are asking for a Gunsaloo video. We're probably not going to do it. There's so many Pale Moon videos already on the channel. Yeah. With the two, Sofone and Pale Moon uh, and Hari. Hari. Gunsaloo is, as much as he did get support, it's still Gunsaloo. So, maybe down the road. Exactly. First, we got the great two. Uh, let's see here. Fast Bright Escaper. Auto, when put into your soul from rigor, cost your uh, your soul has one or more cards. So bless all of uh, all of <laughs> so bless all of your soul other than this card. Call uh, call a card from your soul to rigor, and this unit gets 15k until the end of turn. So basically, you soul bless everything but itself. Exactly, and then call it. So basically, for Guns Loot, it's amazing because when Guns Loot wants to restand. He sucks up everything, and then you soul blast everything to get this on the board, get some multi attack in. And it's doing 4k beater. It's not pretty bad. Not bad. It's an interesting though, because there's another card that has a very similar effect, but you can't do both of them at the same time, because it's mm -hmm. a tempting hoopster. Auto rigor when placed cost uh, your soul has one more card, soul blast all your soul, and one of your vanguards gets power 10k until the end of turn. Mm -hmm. Granted, you do do you probably do this effect. Uh, first, so you call this Soul Blast All Your Soul, yes. and then your Vanguard gets powered up, so Gun Salute. Yes. And then Gun Salute swings, sucks everything in, Soul Blast everything out, and then calls another card out for an extra multi attack. I think Gun Salute stops Sentinels, correct? I think, I'm not sure, it's been a while. I know that does some kind of guard restrict. It, it is fun though, because I'm, I'm not familiar with Pilmoon entirely, so I think like cards like Purple Trapezes possibly, or other cards that pos uh, go to Soul you can start their effects first and then do these effects last so you can mm. get more units on the board but it's not not too shabby of you know support speaking of interesting pelvic support ah yes we are going into the range this week of heal triggers and another card yes it's, it's gonna be apparently a normal thing now we're gonna see a draw trigger in a card then mm -hmm. we're gonna see a crit trigger in a card and then we're gonna see a heal trigger in a card and this time we're starting off with pale moon pale moon is getting of course tender uh, breeder not too shabby of a heal trigger, honestly. It looks very similar to the original trial deck part. I mean, I like it. A little bit of extra pizzazz, a little bit of extra uh, character to deck so people can build however they want. Especially with the Goofy Tiger. Yep. And then we got Blending Burner. Auto Vanguard Rigger, when placed from hand, return your soul to your deck, shuffle your deck, and for each card return, soul charge one. It is basically a revamp of soul. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very double-edged sword card, though. My opinion is most Pelmoon decks already had the soul where they want them, so this card's going to be useless. Like, look at it this way. Gun Salute is one of those that possibly soul charges randomly, so it can work in Gun Salute and to an extent, as well as Golden Beast Tamer. But then you look at Silphorn and Hari, both the decks have selective soul charge to the point where they want certain cards in their soul and they don't want anything else. So you doing this can hurt that deck because you know, you have selected cards that you want in Soul, they go back to deck, and then you have a possibility of Soul Charging Triggers. Yeah. That you don't want. It is what it is. It is what it is. Moving on, we got Grand Blue. Yes. Uh, so we got some interesting grade threes, and of course the Hill Trigger, which, mm, the Hill Trigger art looks really nice. What's it called? Uh, good Luck Charm Banshee. I'm pretty sure every single Grand Blue pair is going to play her instead of the other one. Yeah. So... I'll start off with the one with a Protect Marker, and then I'll talk about the other one later. Um, Skeleton Pirate Skipper. Act Vanguard with once return cost. Counterblast one, put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone. Call up to one card from your drop zone to rear guard, and that unit uh, that unit and this unit get power plus 10,000 to the end of turn. 
It's not a bad ability, the only problem is it's a Vanguard only. You can, it's a budget yeah, deck yeah. card, if anything. It's, you're probably not gonna run it. This one you may, I don't know, I have mixed feelings on this card. So this one's at the one without the marker. Uh, Parliament Shade, right, Parliament? Yep. Yes, auto Vanguard, when it attacks, cost. Soul Blast, three grade threes, Retire all of your opponent's rear cards. If your drop zone has 50 or more cards, call five cards from your drop zone to rear guard, and all of your units get power plus 10,000 and 10 in a turn. Two things to note, I think you said accidentally 50, it's 15. Oh, my, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 15 cards to drop? Yes. And it retires all of your opponent's and your rear guards. It's a board wipe. Oh, yes, sorry. Yours. It's, but yeah, it's, it's a complete board wipe, but you get a full board with 10,000 power on everything. I mean, again, it's a Vanguard only. It doesn't have a marker. Mm -hmm. It's a last-ditch effort. You got a Soul Blast 3, which honestly, if the game prolongs long enough in Kokaidas mm -hmm. especially, it's not hard. And then, I don't know how to feel about it, because the 10k, honestly, at that point, is very irrelevant, in my opinion. Because you got to think of it this way. The game's progressed long enough. You got three uh, great threes in Soul. Mm -hmm. You got 15 cards in drop. You probably have 25 cards in drop at that point. Yeah. You're probably going to call Skull Dragons out yep. with this effect. They're already a big number. 10k extra here and there does not matter that much. Yeah, and, and other cards can make you better use of Skull Dragons we'll talk about later. Exactly. But, um, yeah, it's just a last ditch effort. And then on top of that, the, the three, three grade three thing, it means it's on your second ride. And that's if, if you magically rip the grade three into your soul with a Romaria skill. Otherwise, it's on your third grade, oh, farther actually, thinking about that now. Yeah. Yeah, because getting the grade three in soul, there's no way to soul charge grade threes other than your Mario. This is your fourth ride if you're just riding and hoping to uh, get grade threes exactly. that way. Exactly. So it, it. I mean, in a protect deck, it's not too hard. You're gonna get protect markers or shield or something. Grand Blue already has a big hand that's gonna but let them survive. As we'll talk about later, there's better ways of finishing out the game. You're not wrong. Speaking of which, uh, we're gonna skip through the uh, product stream. We already, like we said, we already covered it. But we're gonna talk about the Tuesday stream that happened after the product stream. Yes. And of course, more Grand Blue. Oh boy, we finally got him. Night Rose is here, and surprisingly, we did not see Negrolazy immediately. Negrolazy is probably gonna be dropped Tuesday, which is interesting because I feel like that's gonna be a key card. Exactly. But the card that did drop with Night Rose is Finn Mist Banshee. It's a new card. Yep. Never before seen, grade two, auto rear guard, when plays by your card's ability, this unit gets power 10k until the end of the turn. And then when you retire from a rear guard by your card's ability, draw a card and this, uh, draw a card. And this ability may only be used by a card with the same card name once a turn. So it's a small, a somewhat worse ghost ship, but at least you can actually call it. Exactly. It's a little bit of a different ghost ship. The whole retire by card ability does matter because the ghost ship draws you inherently and is a 5k extra. Yes. But if you can't get the ghost ship, she's not a bad backup. Or you, if you can call ghost ship from hand, mm -hmm. it, it's just it's a good card from hand to call yes. because Night Rose is just going to activate her and uh, be able to you know draw a card. And if you're wondering why it's going to get retired by a card's ability, we're going to talk about that <sighs> here in just a minute. Vampire Princess of Night Fog, Night Rose. She is back. And the community is torn a bit. <laughs> yeah, it is split down the line. I'm sure if you haven't already seen, well, you're gonna learn yep. why. Auto Vanguard, when your rear guard attacks or boosts, this, that unit gets power 5k until the end of battle and retire that unit at the end of that battle. Auto Vanguard, when it attacks, counter blast one, choose a column, call up to two cards from your drop zone to rear guard in that column. And if your opponent's Vanguard is great to your rear, this unit gets power 10k until the end of turn. Two things really quick to know here. The first effect about gaining power and retiring is completely mandatory. That means if any card boosts or uh, attacks on rearguard, it will gain 5k, but it will also die, which makes Banishing uh, understandable now. Yes. Not to mention her second ability is basically multi-attack. If you actually call things down. If you call things down. Um, it is interesting. You are sacrificing hand in order to get multi-attack. Night Rose went away from what Kaidas used to do and just get a board out of your drop and keep your hand. She, with most of her cards that we've seen, especially with uh, Negra Bone mm -hmm. and uh, Columbard and Ascents, we've seen a lot, a lot of cards that just go, I'm gonna use my hand and the field's gonna go away, but I'm gonna get benefits off of it. The way I look at Night Rose, or Night Rose, yeah, Night Rose, um, is it's the offense to defense. Like Kaidas was, in my opinion, 
more of a defensive card. Gladys was it way was, too defensive. It was ba basically, I'm going to build up hand, build up hand, and I'm going to outlast you until I can kill you, whereas Right Rose is straight. I'm an Excel deck. I want to rush and try to end the game now. See, but look at this figure. Kaidas was very strong, but the problem was exactly that in entire defense. You always called stuff from your drop, mm. you milled yourself out, and you never used your hand unless you wanted to guard. Yes. And to the extent that did work, but people just outlasted it, waited to, to mill out, and they didn't really have that many threats. Called Dragons later in the game became threats, but that's late game. Yeah. Night Rose, on the other hand, she's getting all the benefits from stuff like Ghost Ship, stuff mm -hmm. like Banshee, stuff like uh, the, the Grade 1 Banshee, mm -hmm. and you're getting all that draw power, but also sacrificing hands. So she's maintaining a decent hand size, a normal hand size, while getting all these multi-attack and power columns. And these are power columns. Like, her own effect in a boosted column is 10k to the column. Yeah, you call things like uh, Ghost Ship, it's 29 on its own. Exactly, boosted, let's say, by the uh, uh, Grade 3 Searcher that already gets 5k if you have enough cards and drop. Yeah. So that thing is already an 18. A Ghost Ship plus the Grade 3 Searcher, you got an 18 and a 29, you get to 47 instantly. Yeah, you're getting your numbers. It's just more of... Can you maintain it? And now there's no way to reanimate things other than other rear card skills to do it. And so finding ways to actually make a board. And this is where Colin Bar very make, uh, really makes sense why the card was made. He not only puts cards on the board, he can also provide even more multi-tech. Because if you go net rows for the full field, you, go, you swing with your rear guards first and you, everything dies, Mm -hmm. Swing with Night Rose, call a Column Bard and another thing behind him in a column. Yeah. And then Column Bard skill will trigger, kind of bust another one, call another card into the other column. Usually probably either Skull Dragon or a Ghost Ship for numbers. Mm -hmm. It just provides a lot of multi-attacking combo play now and it, it's very selective. And you, from Shane's experience, like he was talking about in our video, uh, it's very, you have a lot of options in Night Rose now. Almost too many options. Yes. Uh, so... More leaks. <laughs> yeah, that was enough from that. Let's yes. move on. <laughs> uh, back to your hill triggers. Oh my god. Yes. This hill trigger are, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm, I'm just gonna leave the picture here. You guys can. What's the name? Stealth Fiend Bamboo Fox. There you go. Derpy Fox. <laughs> um, then we got a grade one rare. Finally, the last rare we got for Murakumo. Let's see if it's worth it. Flutus Stealth Rogue Kadosu. Kadotsukugu. Uh, Kadotsu... Kadotsugu? Kadotsugu, yeah. Um, auto rearguard at the end of the battle that it boosted a grade two or greater rearguard cost. Counterbust one, discard a card from your hand. Search your deck for up to one card with the same name as the unit this unit boosted. Call out the rearguard without a unit and shuffle your deck. Um, uh, on paper, it's honestly a good card. It's a multi-attack and standard. It's the only downside to this card, honestly, is the counterblast. Mm -hmm. And really, if you have no grade two or greater target, granted, the only really good target, in my opinion, with this, it would be uh, Tinma. Yeah. For the simple fact that it has to call to a, a rearguard without a unit. Granted, if you're doing the Yasue rewrite combo, more than likely you're going to have an Excel circle open for it. But at the same time, if you don't, then you're going to more likely want to use a Tinma so it retires itself to call back over where it used to be and then still See, gain power. What you just said reminded me why this card might be ranked. Because if you don't have the grade one triple rare for Yasue, yeah. That on on Vanguard plays, regardless if it's a ride or through Yasuo's ability, can counterblast one and clone something on the board from drop. This is basically it's a replacement from deck. You basically go into uh, Tenma through Yasuo, make yeah. a new Excel circle that's now empty, yeah. and then you can use a column with this thing in it to put a card there and start multi-attacking more. Probably co uh, copy whatever you're boosting. Yeah, I mean the good thing about this is it does come from your deck. Whereas the grade one, the searcher, yeah, it comes uh, from drop. It comes from drop, so it gives you more options to deck then. But then again, this only copies the card at boost, while the other one copies mm -hmm. anything on board. And the, the other thing is that this also makes you discard a card from hand, so exactly. you are minusing. So it's like you're calling a card from your hand. So it's it's weird. It's mixed feelings, honestly. It's an all right card. It needs playtesting, honestly. Problem is, to my opinion, it still is there's a counter blast in a like, deck Yasui that has. is counter blasting so much to do. So so little, in my opinion. And there's no counter charge, so you really got to choose your effects wisely and what you want to do. More playtesting is needed because right now Yasui looks like a one turn and done deck. Yeah. Like after that one turn, if you don't have a second Yasui in your hand, you're literally dirtily on around. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Uh, last card, but not least, because apparently two days in Japan were very special days and we didn't get any cards of the day. Yep. So this is going to be a little bit shorter of time, apparently. 
But we did get a last card on Friday's stream and it was the order for the set. And I'm sorry, it's disappointing. In my opinion, it is very disappointing. So it is Soul Bearer Roulette. Yep. It's a grade three order. That's the first problem. Yep. And then the second problem is the cost is Cannibalist one, Soul Charge one, and if you have two or more cards with the same card name as your soul, in your soul, as the card that was Soul Charged, draw a card. Um, CB wants the Soul Charge and possibly draw a card. There, there's way better cards to do that with. The only decks you can really viably run this is in Pale Moon, in uh, DI, a little bit in spikes if you can set it up properly, and that's it. See, my problem with this maybe is, Genesis is the decks that you just named. Most of them have better cards to soul, use it, to soul charge with their counter blast. Like they either selectively soul charge or they soul charge way more than just one card. Not to mention this is a grade three. Like where are you gonna put the space? If we look at Lon, uh, our previous video of Shahar when Lon played it. He has a really decent grade three setup. He's running Brufus because he wants that option. If he can't ride Shahar, it's still a decent banger to and, ride. And number Terror is too good not to run. Yeah, and if you have to ride him, it's kind of hmm. So then if you have to run this, you're replacing Brufus. Now you have number of Terror, this grade three order, and one card you only want on Vanguard. And if you don't see it, you're kind of sitting there going, well, shit. The only thing I can really think the run is in would be, uh, we really want a high roll of a gamble in Alt Mile, but there's actually a selective way to get Altma on your soul now, so it's useless. Exactly. If you look at all the DI, because honestly, the, the DI is going to uh, utilize this card probably the most. Brufus, a Brufus deck, will not be using this. Well, Because think... the second you put cards in soul through Emblem or Brufus a skill, you don't have those targets in deck anymore to soul charge. I think I know a deck that actually might use this. Okay. And, it's, and it's not for the draw. It's just straight for the soul charge. And I CB say, one soul charge gears. They don't use CB much. Now. Yes, they do. Now, now they use a lot of soul blast. You still use a lot of CB. Yeah, but I think having this counter blast to exchange for a soul soul charge, where the deck soul blast so much now, especially with the new promo, actually might no, not no, be no. that bad of an idea. No, no, no. The new promo actually reduced the soul blast cost because it replaced. The grade one to put stuff back to the bottom, which is a Soul Blast 2. Oh yeah, that's true. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you replaced it. Yep. It's a weird card that just doesn't have space. Like, Soul Charging 1, you're not getting that much Soul. And those decks that want a Soul Charge, they already have ways to do it. Not to mention a possibility of drawing a card. I mean, I love how so far, out of all the orders we've gotten, the only broken one was the one from the Majesty Lord deck. Out of that... <laughs> Yeah. Other than that, like most of these have been kind of okay. Made. Okay, the Messiah one it works amazingly. Yeah. Messiah, it's already proven itself in Mega Colony. Yes. It can, it does work in uh, uh, Nova Grapplers in mm. a uh, main phase attacking build. Yes, there's multiple. But, but I'm saying they're not broken. Like they're All good, right. but they're not broken. Like we thought we were going to get to this point in the game, or the, where at this point in the game we thought we were going to get like. This one really, really broken one that everybody's gonna be wanting going after, and so I far feel like, they I feel haven't. like I feel like Bushy was scared about that. Mm -hmm. To see what happened with G Guard, see what happened with Stride, see what happened with other stuff they've tried. Yeah, like you go a little bit too far, and the game just goes. Poof. I mean, just look at Sasa. <sighs> That's a little bit too far. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was it for at least for this week. Not too much, I guess. The product stream and everything else that happened. Kind of took most of the blunt for it, but that doesn't mean we're ending it here. We got actually a bit of extra news that just dropped by. Yes. First things first, they also dropped on the Friday stream the English product release schedule. Now, English has been a little bit weird because of the whole Backstreet Boys outside and everything happening. Mm -hmm. Both Japan and English were kind of backed up in products, but Japan came back mm -hmm. and English was still backed up a little bit. And we all thought, okay, so English releases are going to happen two to three months. Mm -hmm behind Japanese releases and to an extent we were right but then they released this product schedule for English and all everything went in blaze because oh boy get your wallets ready oh yeah especially if you want multiple clans from back to back sets so starting August we of course have the premium collection for English as well as the festival collection that's going to be interesting supporting all 24 clans instantly getting their strides and PGs and everything yes also, just in case, excuse any and all noise you might be hearing, they're working underneath in my basement fixing the house. Anywho, moving on, we go straight into September with the 
Uh, Link Joker, Deep Police, Kagero, and OTT. Oh, I mean, o uh, Overlord DX set. Overlord Alter Ego set, you mean. <laughs> Fair enough. I am sorry. Masai has been proving itself. It is <laughs> tier S with all of them. Anywho, that set is dropping in September for English, so that's going to be a very interesting thing. And then, as you've probably have noticed, looking at the picture, October is going to be a shitstorm. Oh, yes. We're getting the Pale Moon uh, Grand Blue set with Murakumo and DI. Yeah. Not to mention, we're also getting the set after that with Luar, Mail Colony, Spike Brothers, and Tachikaze. Woo! Our buddy Shane, you guys know him, Big Belly, more Small Belly now, Night Rose player, all that. Um, he is a Shadow and Grand Blue player. October is going to be hell for him. Sorry, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I know. Good luck. I mean, you're saying good luck. You know, we're going to get to you in a bit after November when Aqua Force, New Batama, No Grappa, and Great Nature drop. Yep. And then in December, we get the newly released, newly announced set that we saw in the product stream of uh, Angel Feather, Gold Pelt, and Genesis and Narukami. Yeah. Which two decks do you have, good sir? Oh, man. I didn't know I was picking up half, uh, half a case. Uh-huh. <laughs> this man is getting Genesis and Narukami. <laughs> yeah. And then oh. last but not least, while Japan has it set for November, December, we're getting it both in January, the United Sanctuary, not the United Sanctuary, wow, the Royal Paladin <laughs> Daigo set and yep. the Bermuda set. Well, you know, we were complaining about being three months behind and now look at this, this is the way to get catch us up three months. I mean, look at it this way, Bermuda is literally one month away. Granted. It's a, dropping in Japan in December and then in January for us. Yeah, granted, um, I have a feeling I had this last time, and I'm probably going to be wrong again, but I'm going to oh, say this again. All right, let's hear it. I, because we're coming up on Overdress, mm -hmm. I have a feeling they're wanting to catch us up so we can have the same set releases for Overdress. You're probably wrong. I'm probably wrong, but I'm hoping. Anyway, one thing to note on this product visual is you probably noticed, there is no Bang Dream. Bang Dream has not been confirmed for English, and I don't think it is going to be, if mm. not for a year, maybe two years, just like Token Rambo in back in the day. I honestly don't think we're going to get it. Also, I don't think we want to get it. If anybody watched Van Cole's video mm -hmm. on Market Watch, go watch Oof. it. Bang Dream in Japan has gone stupid. There are certain cards that are over, uh, they're worth two grand. Yeah, and Roselia, yes, I did say two grand for one card. The SP for Roselia is grade three is about $2,000 in Japan right now. Oof. <laughs> Please don't bring that in English. Don't. Please, you're going to inflate the mark. No, please, no. Let's not do that. Anywho, that was that. We got one more thing with the product stream happening. And we saw, like I said, Gabriel, Angel, mm -hmm. uh, Angel Fetter, Gold Paladin, Genesis, and Narakami. Mm -hmm. We also saw uh, what their tactics, what tactics, what their mechanics yes. might be. A little bit of announcement from TCG, or sorry, from Vanguard's Twitter page. Yep. Excuse me. We see that Angel Feather will be getting or adopting uh, attack-oriented playstyle. So away from drop, a more to attack. It's a protect clan, and if we look at DI and Grand Blue, we can kind of assume they're going to go multi-attacking like everybody else. Oh, hi. In case we know it's not going to be we're arriving from drop zone anymore. It might. Eh, probably. They're probably going to still support Malkeith, honestly. I honestly, I mean, they probably still will, but I honestly see them going back to like kind of a rescue style where it's going to damage, damage check themselves. Yep. Okay, moving on. We got Astroport. That is confirmed Astroport support, whatever that dragon is. And a new way to use Val play Valkyrian. I don't want, I don't want to know what this new way is. Oh, but I do. It already, stand, <laughs> it already stands. What other new way you're going to use? Are you going to ride it on Vanguard? Uh, what if it attacks and just puts it into the Astral Plane on attack from your deck? Please, no, we don't need multi-attack and astral force. We already got that. We need... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Regardless, a new way is going to be interesting to see. Yep. Uh, moving on, we got to Vanquisher, a new evolution of Vanquisher. Yep. That tells us nothing. Pretty much. Your speculation is still might be going and buying from hand stuff. I mean, it's gonna continue the buying from hand skill. It's just how we're gonna do it is gonna be interesting. I mean, it's gonna be, it is gonna be interesting for the simple fact of Jaggy Shot's not gonna be able to work with it anymore. Nor is the Great Two the binds from hand. Yeah, because Jaggy Shot and the uh, Volt Shed all require specifically Dragonic Vanquisher, not this new guy. So we'll see how it goes. Yep. On the bright side, though, Chachura and the Grade One that do get called when they're bound will still work. So depending yes. on what he does, those might be still workable. And those expect probably see in Chachura to go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> and then last but not least, we got Gurgur will, be, oh, I'm sorry, there's two more, not last. Gurgur will use new tactics. So a new play style for golds. It can either be, I, I'm honestly predicting because we're starting to see this a lot with the other sets, mm -hmm. either in uh, some sort of marker generation like treasures or whatever Mega Colony is going to be doing. Oh yeah. Maybe they're going to introduce some sort of token for- Did they announce that there was a new marker in that set? 
Uh, I do, I'm not completely sure. If they did, then more than likely Gerg would probably be interacting with the new marker. Anybody know or can read Japanese or just knows? Leave it please in the comments below. Thank mm -hmm. you. And then last but not least, now for real, uh, no news on Fenrir. We have Zilch on what Fenrir is going to do. Oh, yeah. And then Kossi Venner also might be using a new marker. We'll see. Uh, Fenrir, I've, like, you, just looking at Fenrir, what he might be able to do is you got, um, Either, it's not going to do force markers because that's all Astropoet. Yes. Well, Himiko he, was all about soul charge, soul blast, soul reduction, and triggers. So Fenrir just might be doing what he used to do with his, you know, stack, calling from soul. Stack your deck or multi attacking from soul. I th I, I'm going to go with the whole multi attacking from soul lasting because mm -hmm. it feels like most of these newer G reboot decks are multi attacking now. Oh, yeah. So I could honestly see them saying, I'm going to soul blast to call things from soul. It'll be interesting. We'll see. Anywho, I think that's more than about it. Yep. We don't have any other news. Like I said, the product stream did happen. And if you want to hear on t our take about it, go watch that video. There's two parts because the stream uh, failed during the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, but for the most part, that's it. You got anything else you want to add? Mm, no. To rip my wallet, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, rip Shane's wallet. Rip Shane's wallet, yes. <laughs> I will say this. I already got my Link Joker split. And then because of a nice shadow text, Tachis and Spice are going to be very cheap to pick up. Yep. And then after that, just no regard. Show us Extreme Battle of Victor Art, please. Come oh my on god, already. we still haven't seen his art. We've seen Gavriel, Gurgren, and all of those. We haven't seen Extreme Battle of Victor yet. Come on, Bushy. I want to see this boy. But, like always. Yep, that's it for episode 67. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please leave a like, share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and ring that bell to get notified. Maybe even follow us on Facebook and join our Discord. Yep. But other than that, I've been Philip. This is Alex. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Woo! Oh, time, time to see, see how people like the new wall. wall. Yeah, I know, right?